Hey guys, what's up? I'm in Polzeth, Cornwall, and this is my favourite part of the UK. Potentially my favourite part of the world. This place has the best sunrises and the best sunsets I've ever seen. And I've been to quite a lot of those around the world. So, uh, yeah, that's saying something. But this is where I feel most at home. It's where I went to as a kid every single school holiday instead of going abroad. We'd do a week in Devon and spend time with my, my family down there. And it was, it was amazing. It's a proper family thing. Just to be out here, having been away for a year from, with my whole family. Um, I'm currently on my own with my family yesterday, mum, dad uh, and Lara and my great great auntie and uncle Barbara and David and that was spectacular, we just had an amazing time. Not a good surf but I'm still getting out there and uh, giving it a go of course. Um, I'm not going to pass up an opportunity to, to have a surf but we've been extraordinarily lucky with the weather this year. It's like close to, is nearing the 30 degree mark and it's just completely clear blue skies wow. a few clouds in sight but um, that's fine. Yeah it's my favourite part of the country for, for obvious reasons so I decided to do a bit of a vlog about it. Unfortunately my drone screwed up again, chopped off a bit of my finger. You can hover it and catch it on the belly and turn it upside down and it turns off but it didn't turn off, it carried on going and uh, it cut my legs up and cut my finger. Didn't cut it off but cut a significant chunk out of it so that's been very painful but it's slowly recovering that's pretty good still, i got some photos and one video i believe so yeah i'll chuck it in and and, and see how it is in the video but it's going to be mainly time lapses with the canon um but i'm i'm not afraid to do that of course i love the time lapse as you all know it would have been nice to do a hyperlapse but still i'm up on the hill on top of the uh, in the parking lot because i've just had to check out of my campsite overlooking the whole of Polzeth beach and it's beautiful just uh, you can't get enough of this place decided to stay another night and enjoy it and do some more surfing so i had an amazing surf last night three hours had a sunset surf it was spectacular so, um this video is going to be mainly about the stuff that you can do in Polzeth. having said i'm going to do a bunch of time lapses i'm not going to be doing just that uh, I might as well make this into sort of like a tour guide thing because a lot of you will be questioning what is there to do in the, in the west country of the UK and they're all sort of in the same sort of category hikes and wildlife and surfing and beach and all that sort of stuff just outdoorsy really there's like you don't really you don't really go to museums or all that sort of stuff but you can do all the classic going and grabbing a, a, a proper scone I say, I say proper scone because I had a but an improper scone in New Zealand and served it with whipped cream which I was Melina would know I'm, I was utterly distraught by that <laughs> but um, no, this place definitely has the uh, the best cream teas around and also it's in the name the Cornish pasties I was dying for a Cornish pasty when I got here so instead of an ice cream I had a Cornish pasty on the first day so uh, yeah you need to check out the Cornish pasties the cream tea shops and definitely the Cornish ice cream because I believe it's definitely the best around there's a lot of walks you can do in Polzeth you can walk to Dama Bay uh, it's about 40 minute walk uh, along the coastal walk then there's a bunch of other walks on the other side so that uh, Daymar Bay you, you walk that, that way, way. Um, and it's about 40 minutes but then there's another walk that you can do on the other headland which is which is what I'm looking at right now that bit over there pretty sweet walk there's a hidden bay the hidden bay over there that you can only get to at high tide or you could do the coastal walk and get there at any time of day so yeah beach surf coastal walks cream seas cornish ice cream cornish pasties the best of the best and yeah when you've got weather like this you you, uh, you can't go wrong with anything so um yeah enjoy yourselves
this place definitely has the best coffee around. It's called Wave Hunters. If you're ever in Polzeth, go check it out for sure. This spot has been here for two seasons, they said. Um, yeah, they got pretty sweet staff. So yeah, um, go check it out. Best coffee in Polzeth. far the best ice cream shop in Cornwall so go check it out it's called vanilla I'll leave the link in the description down below just the best flavors ever I've got Jaffa cake right now So seeming as we're here, Daymar Bay Walk is that, that way, way and the other walk is that, that way. way. I don't know what it's called, but it's they're both pretty bloody good. What you learn as you get older, you must become a man one day. What a way childish thing. Well, that's the end of that then. I've just got out of the water, good two hour session. Waves today were a bit hit and miss. It was getting stormier, so the waves weren't big, but they weren't small. There was a lot of progress today with the surfing, well, this whole trip really. So I'm very pleased, and I feel like I've come away with something from this trip. So yeah, I've now got a five and a half journey back home after I've paid the parking ticket. So I'll see you there. It's now 2.30 in the morning. I left at 8.30. Uh, so that is 1.30, 2.30, 6 hours of driving, wow. I had to stop a bunch of times because I was genuinely absolutely knackered, all the surfing, all the early mornings, getting up to be the first one out in the water, has uh, tired me out quite considerably, <laughs> but yeah, I'm home now, that is it for Cornwall, uh, it's, yeah, like I said, my favourite place in the world, I also forgot to mention that, um, the surfing, my last session of surfing, it was so good, particularly because I um, managed to do my first ever backhanded cutback. I was world chuffed with that, which is weird because I've been really, really focusing on my four-handed bottom and upper cuts, and I managed to do a backhanded cutback. Anyway, that's it, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs>